Right, we've got the track saw out, we've got the plywood on the bench, I can hardly move in my workshop, so it must be time to build some furniture. Now, the plan's been designed on CAD software, Carl A design, and it's stored up here on my hard drive. But you know what they say about plans and mice and men and stuff, things can change. So keep watching, because I might be as surprised as you are by the time we get to the end of this. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, before I fit this front panel for the wardrobe, let me show you around. First of all, we've got our door, which goes in the door hole, like so. I'm just waiting for some hinges for that. They should be here in the next couple of days. Then we've got our water filler nozzle. You just clip on your hose pipe, fill the tank up. If you're in a place where you can't use the type of hose pipe, you can just open this flap, undo the lid, fill the tank in there. Then round the back, we've got our filler tube just there, which also acts as the open vent for the tank. We've also got another open vent there, which acts as an open vent for my water gauge. Then inside the wardrobe, We've got our cables boxed in to hide all the nasty wires. And then underneath, we've got the start, first drawer runner in for the pull-out drawer. Next job is to get this front panel cut and fitted. I have got a timbre door to fit in there, but I'm not entirely sure where it's gonna go because I can't remember where the seat back comes. So I think I'm gonna have to look back over my old videos and take some measurements off the screen, try and get a rough idea of where it comes. I've gone for this larger corner profile again. It just gives the build a bit more of a solid feel. Right, come from builders. This is about as low as I can get. This is the front panel for my wardrobe. I've marked out the holes that I'm going to cut out for my timber door. This represents where the bench will come, and that's why I need a timber door because the bench will get in the way of an opening one. So it will slide up, slide down, slide up, get your things out, go for a walk, do some nice things, go to the pub, put it down, job done. That's the timber door from Kira Vans. Uh, I've got to cut it down to match the width of my hole. Anyway, this all sounds a bit complicated. Just watch and you'll see. Watch me, bro! Builders brackets from Screwfix. Smaller builders brackets from Screwfix. 3M VHB tape out of my shed. Beautiful. Nice, it did.
what do you reckon works for me now we just got to fill this little bit up here cut the side panel make a drawer loads of stuff really I was going to make that a drawer, but I realised I couldn't go too far back because there's a load of gubbins for the gas hob that needs to sit behind. So I'm just going to make it a little cubby hole like that. Right, we've got one end, we've got the other end. Now we need to fill the bit in the middle. And as if by magic, there it is. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's all very nice, Carl, but how am I going to get to the electronics if anything goes wrong? Well, I thought about that and I. Watch. Yeah. Little tab, note the little tab, pull that, and now you can get to all the gubbins. So, quite pleased with that. Took a bit of working out, but I think you'll agree it works quite well. Now, you'll often find me sat here in my van doing this. I'm not having some sort of seizure, I'm building stuff in my head because I'm trying to think of every tiny little detail so that I don't miss something like the bed being in front of my fridge door, for instance. Now today, I've been doing this quite a lot because I want to fit this shelf. Now I hear you say, Carl, it's a shelf. How hard can it be? Well, that's where this can save you a lot of tears down the line. Because if I fix this to there, then screw through the shelf into the end of this, then eventually the bumps and vibration are going to split this small piece of plywood. My shelf will fall, break my glass on my sink, I'll be distracted, crash into a petrol station, it'll blow up and it'll all just be a nightmare. Now I could use a bracket, but then I've only got a few 15mm screws holding the weight of the shelf and all the stuff on it. And then we're back to the petrol station scenario. So after a lot of this, I've come up with this. The U-channel's glued on, so when I screw this 50mm screw up through the middle of the plywood, then it can't split. I'll use these brackets to bolt through into the underside of the ceiling, and boom, everybody's happy. Right, last little job then, just need to make this drawer box up that'll fit in the hole in the back of the cupboard. A lot of people say I make this look easy, but believe you me, I can huff and puff and swear with the best of them. It's taken me about an hour to line that drawer front up, but I only filmed the best bit. There, that's the furniture in. Next video you see me in, I'll be fitting this rock and roll bed. So like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're nearly there.